Hey, what's up everybody? It's Josh here. I'm here with Coach Matt. We're gonna go over this week's send-offs workout for you. So for this workout, we're gonna have four different stations, two exercises per station, and you're gonna have 75 seconds to get a certain number of reps done before you get ready for the next set. So if you get them done in 30 seconds, that's gonna give you 45 seconds to recover. If it takes you 45 seconds, that's gonna be about 30 seconds to recover here. You're gonna do three sets, four sets of each exercise for each group. We're gonna rotate around the room just one time today. Here we go. So station number one, we're gonna start with our two weight row. So moving plank position for the suspension trainer. Matt's palms are turned down. He's gonna squeeze those shoulder blades, pulling his chest and armpits up towards his hands. Back down, rotates those hands, pulls his ribs up towards his hands. So we go palms down, high row, palms up, low row here, squeezing those shoulder blades. If you want to make this heavier, you step further in. If you need to make it lighter, you put one foot back or both feet back. Challenge yourself with that resistance here so you can get stronger. It's five of each, so 10 total. And then we're going to do five ball sends. You're going to turn around, grab that ball, reach high red, sit that butt back, slam that ball down. Each one as hard as you can. So now I'm not doing five reps fast. I want you to do one rep as hard as you can five times. So it's five and five on the rows, five slams here. Stay fast and loose, get ready for the next set. Nice job, man. From there, we're coming over to station number two. We got Coach Tia here. She's gonna start with our sled push and pull our sled push down and back. So she's gonna push this sled all the way down to the other end. When she gets down there, she's gonna push it back to the other end. Driving those feet in the floor, trying to tear up that car to grab those push pulls nice and low. When she gets down to this end, she's gonna go into her push-ups. Just right down to the floor. Squeeze and press here. Glute squeeze nice and tight. Deep breath in. Push that air up. You need to. You go down from your toes. Lower those knees and press up from your knees. You can also work from your knees here as well. So it's down and back on the sled and then five quality push-ups there. Nice job there. See you. Now from there, we're coming over to station number three. We got Coach Carrie over here. And she is going to be starting with our kettlebell clean and squat here. So you get that kettlebell set up between those feet. Nice flat back chest up. She's going to use those hips to yank that kettlebell up, catch their chest, and then go down into that squat here. So technically, we've got two moves. We're going to clean it all the way up to the chest. Use those hips, yank that kettlebell up. Deep breath in as you go down to that squat. Push that air out as you come back up. So you're going to do five cleans and squats here. And then the second exercise, we're going to go into our tall kneeling halo. So Grab a kettlebell here, holding it upside down. Glutes are squeezed tight, nice wide stance with those knees here, getting a stretch through those hip flexors, and we're gonna get some mobility going in those shoulders as well. Let that kettlebell go as low as you can behind you so we get those lats stretch, we get those deltoid stretch here as well. You're going back and forth, five in each direction here. So it's five on the cleans and squats, five and five on those halos. Get ready for the next set. Out there, Carrie. From there, we're coming over to our last station. We got Coach Matt back. He's going to start with our dumbbell squat presses. So he gets those dumbbell set up in his shoulders. Deep breath in as he goes down, driving on up, throwing those kettlebells up to the ceiling. He's going to use all that momentum coming out of that squat to throw those dumbbells up. Again, deep breath in, push those knees apart, drive up, squeeze those glutes, throw those dumbbells to the ceiling. You're going to do five squat presses here, and then we're going to go over to the box. We're going to do our plank row. So Push up plank position, one hand on the box, one arm is off, using that arm to get those dumbbell rows and squeeze that shoulder blade, pulling your hand towards your ribs, not up towards your armpit. Glutes are squeezed nice and tight here, hips nice and stable. You'll do five on one side and then five on the other. Now, if the plank, holding that plank is issue on your you can bring one foot underneath you or both feet underneath you here to make sure you get a strong pull here. So it's five squat presses, five and five on those plank rows. Okay, that's our send off workout for this week. Great job, everybody.